So I'm out on the water today, kayaking, looking to do a bit of birding. Area I've sort of kayaked through before, there's always been a lot of cormorants here. Now, it's early morning, there's no wind, the light is not too bad, a little bit harsh, but if I can get some shots of some cormorants on some perches, it'll be great. So, let's go. Now the gear I'm using is a Nikon Z50 with a Nikon 24-200 lens. Not the best, but it's light, compact and good for kayaking. Plus this lens is super sharp, so I get some really good results out of it. Some of the best parts of coming out kayaking in the morning is some of the landscapes, especially when there's no wind. I can see I don't know how far I can see, but this is probably a few kilometres, but there's mangroves just sort of merging into the horizon here. Gives a nice perspective and a nice way to start the day. I can hear shorebirds, but I can't see shorebirds, so they could be anywhere. Look at all these little mangrove seedlings coming up. How incredible is that? goes to show you that the, uh, the coast is quite healthy. So I'm sort of uh, hugging the mangroves here because this is where all the bird perches are. There's a few sort of dead branches here that I think would be great for cormorant spots because I know they are good for cormorant spots because I've seen them hanging out here before. But doesn't seem to be too many around this morning. Lots of fish jumping, that's for sure. Lots of fish jumping. I just love solitary mangrove trees in water. Like this one. Now that background isn't as clean as I would like it to be, so I'm going to scoot around and get another shot. Now as I paddle past all these mangroves, I'm seeing all these branches that look like good perches but fortunately there's no birds to be perched on it. I just have this uh, beautiful solitary mangrove that uh, just is begging to be photographed so I'm going to come around a little bit and close so we can get a bit of a sun star. I just love these trees by themselves. It just shows the, uh, the strength of mangroves and the importance of them. How's that? I just got shat on. Incredible. I guess that's, uh, that's the price you pay, isn't it? If you want a bird, you're going to get shat on. How's that? Alright, so there's uh, another mangrove tree that I want to get a photo of. But I don't really want the sun behind it because it's going to blur, out, blur it out and give it a bit of a silhouette. So what I'm going to do is swing around wide. I know there's no real cormorant perches around here, so I'm going to make a noisy sort of U-turn. This tree is still going to be silhouetted, but it should be alright. Background not too happy on, so I'm going to uh, come back around and make the background a little bit cleaner. Still going to be silhouetted because of the light, but it's one of these things, isn't it? One of these things. Second mangrove tree now. It's going to need to be a bit of it longer. There we go. Silhouette, I'm not a fan of the silhouette, but uh, it's okay. And there's a shark right in front of me that's coming towards my kayak. There it is, just jumped right in front of me. Well, there you go. Moving on. So there's uh, three kingfishers up here, and I'll try and get a nice shot of them. Don't have much room. Let's see if we can get in a little bit further. 
further. Now this might not be uh, conducive for paddling, but all right. So I'm going to keep hugging the coast here, and I know that there's a little white swallow nest that I might check out. Uh, hopefully they're still there. The last time I was there, there was about two of them all in sort of breeding display. I imagine it was breeding or territorial or something, but both of them were getting quite frisky, so Dad, I'll see that today, but hopefully the nest is still there and they can all pose perfectly on a nice little branch for me, but we will see. We will see. All right, so this is the this is the white swallow nest up here, and there's two sort of preening on the little perch up there. Too freaked out. They're aware of me. Oh yeah, here's the uh, here's the little dance, little bum dance. Look at that. Looking good. We've got three of them now. I think it's time to go back. So I'm going to hug the uh, the mangroves again. Hopefully get some cormorant shots. If not, it's just nice being out on the water. You know, I just love coming out here and photographing through mangroves because there's so much life here. The fish, the bird life, you know, and they're very important for the coastline because they protect from any storms or high tides or anything like that. But, you know, in the, uh, the scheme of things with development and progress, I suppose, you just got to rip these things up and put down a, you know, apartment blocks because mangroves stink and they're not that pretty to look at. If people took the time to come out here, away from everything and just sort of coast through some mangroves, I think their opinion of mangroves would probably change. I think it's a little black cormorant. I can't see from here. It's black. I know that. So we'll take our time. I'll go a little bit to the right and let the tide push me in so I don't have to paddle in. So it'll be quiet. Fingers crossed we can get a good shot without scaring it. That's always a bonus. Look at him just sunning himself. What a life, eh? What a life. There we go. Just have a nice egret here. He's doing a nice pose for me. But I don't want to start him too much because he's very skittish and he's hunting. So I'll just keep my distance, let the high tide push me around, and hopefully get some good shots. Nothing like a freshly cleaned egret in the morning. To Set the tone for the day. So there you go. Kayaking while birding, or birding while kayaking. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you get some nice shots, sometimes you don't. But I think it's the act of actually getting out into nature, you know, away from screens, away from traffic, that uh, does you good. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.